Christmas spirit at the Russian border, Estonian Russian border. Father Christmas in the back. All right, guys, let me tell you. So, this is the Lux Nux Express bus that's actually going to Russia now. So, we have now reached the Russian border. Check it out. Wow. So, this is the road across this uh, gate that leads to Russia. I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna report from the bridge on the bridge and I'm gonna show you what's up keep on watching this is uh, it's been like a, well just me on the road it's like nine hours but I'm actually been filming and streaming so it's 11 hours for me all right guys Guys, we are now crossing the Estonian European Union border onto Russia. And I'm filming the bridge for you guys. So, yeah, I just, uh, just showed my passport. And if you have a uh, European passport actually the lady just said uh, the border control just said go over there and there was actually a there was like a, uh, you know you put the passport passport in and there's a camera that films you and it's it was like high-tech stuff and then uh, automatically just let me through and that's it wow but anyway guys this is we're going to the bridge between the two countries so that's the the bridge you've seen in the news. People are going really, really fast. And I've never ever crossed the bridge by walking, never. That over there, ladies and gentlemen, is already Russia. And that darker castle in the back, it's also Russia. And this is Narva Castle, Estonia. Check out the walk at the border of Narva border on my channel. Link in the description. So pretty uh, that's this is how it should be. This is how it should be. People just mind their own business. Got your paperwork done across the bridge that's it so this here now hold up one two three four and five this is the end of physical border of the stone so there you have in front of us we see the uh, the infamous are they called dragon tooths 
tracking tubes for in case they want to stop the border. So here it is. These are the the dragon tubes. There's like uh, eight and eight of them. Ah, no, no, not eight. Well, somebody stole one. That's the yeah. <laughs> So eight and seven, that's 15, and there is more. There's a secret police on the border, or border customs, I don't know who they are. Check it out, barbed wire as well. Whoa, and I've read even people are going crazy with the news. And, uh, about the even about these barbed wire that they are like NATO barbed wire they slash they don't penetrate they slash all right guys we are now technically on the Russian side we are now technically in Russia Ura Ivan Gorod this is so awesome some cars are here as well but I think you need to have like a reserve time to be able to enter from for Russian side. I think something like that. All right, I'm gonna stop filming in just a second, but this was the experience of crossing the border, land border, walking from Narva to Russia. And here we are. This is Russia. Wow. Ah feels great I think I should not be filmed Ivan Gorod it says, wow Ivan Gorod style is more uh, let's say uh, industrial I have to say I haven't seen any I haven't seen any uh, refugees, not one, or uh, like illegal, legal or illegal or whatever. Haven't seen anyone. Let's see, maybe it will change on the Russian side. I will let you know. All right, I think I will stop filming now. I will let you know when I cross the border. All right, guys, I'm here. I just crossed the border. It was a uh, my first experiences, it was uh, probably the laid, this one at least, this, this time around. It was the most laid back, laid back Russian border I ever been to, period. Ivan Gorod, uh, really fast one. Uh, not, as, well, stood there for a little while, waited for the passport controllers. He came really fast, no questions asked, everything is fine. And, uh, you know, and that's about it. That's how it got, went down. And uh, uh, passport control, really fast, uh, border c uh, customs, and uh, off we go. And I'm here. That building behind me is uh, that there in the, in the dark. That's the building with the, uh, uh, that's the entrance into the, uh, Customs and border control when you go in away from Russia and there was already this is Sunday and um, This is a Sunday and uh, that's why there was uh, maybe I don't know Maybe closer to 100 now nah, 50 50 something maybe 50 70 people in line and they say it takes about like uh, maybe Two hours. It's actually over there That's that line over there as you can see there and there's like let's say 50 people 
and uh, but they said I asked the taxi driver he said that's because it's Sunday otherwise it's not as bad even during the rush hours so if you come here be prepared to be waiting for like maybe an hour maybe two and there's a lot of taxis waiting right after you go out very chill I got one number he said that uh, because I, I want to go actually to King Giuseppe he said uh, a little bit higher price he said a thousand rubles that's 10 bucks one way and uh, I would imagine you can actually it's a 30 minute drive so I can you might maybe agree with him but you probably have to pay in cash or transfer money transfer if you use my guide videos and actually have a an app and a bank account Russian bank account this helps you a lot all right guys what can I say behind me is a Ivan Gorod small town I'm gonna be exploring I have to get to the hotel uh, if you want a hotel you should check uh, ostrovok.ru that's the website and also an application downloadable also in the West so we just came back from Helsinki Tallinn Narva walk into the border cross the border by walk and we are now in Ivan Gorod so guys awesome to see you uh, awesome experience first time it's a bit uh, rough now I feel good because I had a beer but otherwise um, this could be a bit it's, it took like 10 hours altogether with uh, three countries and four cities it's uh, this this shouldn't be like that but I'm, I'm thankful I was able to do this and capture it for you guys this let's um, let's hope you guys subscribe to the channel become Igorians members and uh, see you again and check out my other video from Ivan Gorod Narva most Russian city in Estonia etc and other Russian places peace out from Russia Ivan Gorod it's pretty dark <laughs>